So today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be doing some pretty exciting modifications on my M140i. We're gonna be focused on the interior in this video, and we're gonna be doing something that I've never actually seen before done on these cars. So it should be a pretty exciting video, and I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you do go ahead and enjoy it, make sure you leave a like, rate, and comment, subscribe. Let's hit the road. I've got about a two hour journey until I go and visit the company who are gonna be doing the main part of this video, basically transform the whole interior. I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a moment, but I think we should just get going. It's currently nearly eight o'clock in the morning. I've got to be there for about just before 10 so yeah i need to get a move on so i should catch you guys on the road so i've been on the road now for about an hour and 20 minutes um i finally woke up a bit because i was absolutely knackered but basically today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a few modifications at home but first of all, we're traveling up to a company that changes your whole interior. So at the moment, in these BMWs, most BMWs, all of the lights that are behind, like in the dash, I'll put some photos over the top of what I mean, um, they're all normally orange. But this company essentially replaces the orange LEDs for whatever you want. So we're gonna be going with mostly white, but we're also gonna be getting some red bits as well to sort of go with my red car and my red center mark on the steering wheel and the red buttons and stuff like that. So it should be really, really good. Now this is the same company who did like the traction and control buttons. You know, the ones that were like blue and red and white. It's the same company as that. They're just doing the whole interior now. Sweet, so we've now pretty much just arrived and we've averaged 36.1 to the gallon over 113 miles. Oh, this bump is big. I don't think that's too bad at all. 36.1 miles to the gallon over 113 miles. That's pretty good. But yeah, let's, uh, let's meet the guys and get the work underway. I cannot wait to see this done. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> I arrived in Bridgewater where these guys are located and the work got underway swiftly. They started by taking all the trim pieces and all of the components out of the car that contained LEDs, stripping them all out for their circuit boards to then begin removing the old LEDs and putting the new ones on. Now the company in question is a fairly new company and it's called EK Bimmer FXX. I'll leave all their socials on screen now. As you can see, they've not had too many reviews and stuff like that because they've not long been around. But a lot of you probably would have seen them on like Facebook forums. That's where I first noticed them anyway, when they started doing the sort of small button retrofits where they just changed the LEDs in the Sport, Eco and Traction Control button. As you know, I've already had that done anyway. But they now offer a full LED interior conversion. Now their current prices are about £150 without a cluster for the whole interior and £200 with a cluster and the whole interior. But I would recommend contacting them just in case because the prices might have changed since recording this video. If you want to contact them I'll leave an email on screen and also in the description but also you can contact them on their socials as well. Now I believe at the minute they sort of do like an exchange mode so you send them or they send you a part with all the LEDs and you send yours back. I believe that's sort of what they're doing. Um, but they may also be able to take in-person appointments as well. But as I said, contact them and they'll be willing to help. But make sure you mention you came from my video. So this video has been kindly supported by Emerald Struts. Now Emerald Struts provide boot struts for various cars on the market and they essentially allow you to walk up to your car, hold down the boot button on your key and it will lift up the boot automatically. And as you guys know on my old 118i I had these on there. Now there's a reason why I've not got them on my current car quite yet because me and Emerald Struts are working on something in the background which hopefully should happen in the near future to keep an eye out for that but they are literally plug and play take the old ones off put the new ones on shut the boot cut the button and they will lift up automatically now you can still use the boot as a normal boot like go up to it and open it and shut it normally so this sort of thing is quite a cool party trick i used to show a lot of people back in the day of my old car and people just couldn't believe that this was on a one series but also it's practical as well because you could have your hands full of bags like shopping bags you can walk up to your car and have your keys in your hand just pop the boot and put the bag straight in now they also do accessories like key earrings t-shirts hoodies stickers and all that sort of stuff so go check that out too not long ago they released electric boot struts for bmw f20s and f21s now these allow you to lift and close your boot completely automatically with a button in the boot a button inside the cabin and also your key so uh yeah 
they're always an option too. If you want to go ahead and check them out, use code BB20 for 20% off. Now this offer is for a limited time and is only going to last 10 days. So make sure you order your bootstraps ASAP. So ladies and gentlemen, it has now gone dark and honestly, the inside has completely transformed. And here it is. Look at how good this looks. It looks absolutely amazing. Got the light on over there. I don't know if you can see that. Also got the lights here and the lights down there for the lights. And um, we've got the speaker controls, if it will focus. Um, I assume we'll have the cruise control buttons all lit up when I do get a cruise control. They can't change this ring for some reason. There's a reason behind it. Um, but I'll be getting a ProNav uh, iDrive in the future anyway, so we can sort that out when we do that. Um, but yeah, just imagine how good this is going to look when we have the new upgraded cluster from the LCI 2 cars. We have the ProNav. And we also have the cruise control in white as well. Everything in here is going to be white then. And it's going to look amazing. I also really like the fact that over here for the cold, you've got blue LED. And for the hot, we've got red. And uh, yeah, it looks a bit orangey on camera. But trust me, this is pure red. And it looks really good up there. You've got sort of red and blue. Um, yeah, looking absolutely awesome. I really do wish it will look as good as it does in person on camera because it's, it's just pure white and it looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to finish the interior now. Now moving on to the next modifications, these aren't anything out of the ordinary. I've done these both before in previous cars. First of all, we're going to go ahead and stick the pedals in. This is so simple. You simply take off the brake pedal cover, put the new one on, stick the stick the footrest on, and then slide the accelerator down over the top, and that is completely done. Now just a quick tip when you're doing this pedal, it might be a little bit tight because of the like obviously this rubber's really tight. So uh put this in the jug and fill it up with hot water and give it you know, a couple minutes and this will become really nice and loose so you can put it over the pedal nice and easily. And then when it's cold, it'll go solid again. Now, if you wanna go ahead and check out these pedals, I bought them from R44 Performance. I'll leave all links in the description down below. Now, moving on to the shifters, I've decided to go with the sort of BMW OEM ones. Now, these are genuine panel shifters out of a Friends M4. Now, to install them, you wanna go ahead and undo the battery because obviously we're gonna be unplugging the airbag and you don't want that exploding in your face but once you've unplugged the battery simply go ahead and find the two holes each side of the steering wheel and push a flathead screwdriver up through it and you should hear like a uh, like a ping and it should pop off the airbag once that's been done go ahead and unplug the airbag and then you should then be able to see the screws in order to take up the paddles and yeah you might have noticed in the background the obd port still isn't fixed but it is booked in for next week we finally will be able to get a new pin and I'll be able to put my car back together. So boom, just like that, the car is now all done. Look how much better those paddles look and also the pedals down there starting to come along lovely. So if you did go ahead and enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe and I should catch you guys very, very soon for a mapping video. I cannot wait.